So recently, one of the research scholar in a top-notch institution posted a tweet and the tweet said that that particular institution was looking for only PhDs and pre-PhDs and postdocs from top-notch institutions. So it's like if they are from IIC, they only want IIC and they don't want others or only IITs and no others, right? So that raises a big ethical question then where the rest of the people should go. And that is what I'm going to answer in this video. Now, basically, all these top-notch institutions like BARC, NCBS, TIFR, IASC, GNU, Jamia Milia, the top-notch IITs, ISERs, all of these have a very selective criteria to select research scholars. They will not take a regular person. But then most of us are regular people, right? They, they, do, they have never done their BSCMS in these top-notch institutions. So how should we get into these institutions? And why are these uh, colleges and uh, institutions only demanding these high-profile uh, situations? So that is something which every one of you should know. What's the trick to get into these top-notch institutions and why are they demanding such high criteria? So first of all, let me tell you that this is unethical that um, we say that uh, only, we will only hire from the top notch and not from the other colleges because that way we are limiting the talent and uh, see these are government institutions, they are not supposed to have such criteria, but sadly they have. Now having said that, I'm going to give you the trick to get into top notch institutions and do your research and of course grow your career. Now, there is a reason why these top-notch institutions are top-notch, right? Like IAC is in the top 100 research institutions, educational institutions in the world. So getting in there is obviously going to be tough because there are a lot of people competing, the demand is high and seats are less, right? And that is where you need solid purpose, solid reason to get in there. Because even if you have secured a high rank in CSIR and even if you have secured a high rank in GATE, or even if you don't have these, still you can get in there. But that secret I'm going to reveal. That secret is called as ecosystem. Okay. I think seven years ago, I was giving a talk at ISC Bangalore. And so we, we were representing Biotechnica and they had these stalls. So we had Biotechnica magazines over there and various things we were displaying. And then I was supposed to give a talk. When I started my talk, uh, the researcher asked that you are not from a top-notch institution. How did you make it to the, you know, uh, speaking space? So I said, my work is my, you know, certificate. I don't need a certificate from a top-notch institution to get into a top-notch institution to be a speaker. But the work which I have done for the biotech industry that itself made them invite the organizers invite me. And that is what I want to tell you. You don't need a degree from a top-notch institutions to get into a PhD in top-notch institutions. Even if you have a basic rank in CSIR net or a GATE score, still you can get in there with the help of two things, ecosystem and networking, right? On the top of it, you need a strong statement of purpose and then you need a reference letter, at least three references you need and some solid recommendation letters. So these are the five things which you will require to get in there as a student. Now, uh, when we get in there, of course, there will be situations where uh, a person who has got a higher rank sometimes may get a priority in the interview. But during the interview, they are not going to see the rank. They just see, okay, you are a CSR and okay, fine. But after that, they test your knowledge, they test your belief, they test your research acumen, your, they test your creative skills, innovation skills, and they ask you why you want to do a research in this particular domain. So when you are getting into these research, top-notch research institutions, you have to keep in mind that your background is not going to be a, a barrier to entry. Instead, it can be actually a very good boost to your entry. So, for example, you can say that even though I studied in a um, small college, but still I made sure that I did these, these, these things so that I uh, get to here. So that is where it comes uh, very handy. And this ecosystem, which I was talking about, this letter of recommendation and references and the guidance and all of that, you can get at one place. Okay. All of this plus your training for CSIR net and gate, plus your internships and plus lot many things. And that place is called as 
Watson Impact Scholarship. You look at this. If you want to get into top-notch institutions, they will always be snobs. They will say, no, 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 we want you know people who have a very high profile background. But if you have a low profile background, can't you get in there? You can. Because Biotechnica will provide you the letter of recommendations and references, will train you for CSI Net and Gate, will train you for every possible entrance exams, will make you industry ready, will make you a 360 degree researcher, and then we will present you in front of these top-notch institutions. And when you're going through our references, your chances of getting selected is higher because you'll have my recommendation letter in your hand. And that will be a power booster to you for your career. And once you are get, once you have got in, of course, you can always uh, go forward. Now, this is uh, something which nobody tells you in the public domain. They just keep it limited to themselves. But at Biotechnica, we believe this information to reach out, should reach out to the public that it is not difficult to get into IAC Bangalore or IITs or ISERs or um, any of the NITs. All these top-notch institutions have their criteria, I agree, but definitely if you have a strong profile, they cannot deny you. Okay, And that's my personal experience. I have placed so many students into these uh, top-notch institutions. In fact, many of our uh, student alumni from there are now well placed in uh, companies in India as well as abroad. So my point of view here is you apply for the Watson scholarship, get the scholarship, prepare for your exams. And once you have qualified, we'll give you the letter of references from top scientists and of course, from my side, letter of recommendation. And then you go in with that rank and with all of this. And of course, we'll help you prepare the statement of purpose. Go in, present yourself in the interview. You will realize that the top ranker will get rejected and you will get selected. See, getting a high rank is not the need of the hour. Getting placed into these institutions is very important. So here is my point of view for all of you. Please apply for the Watson Scholarship, take the scholarship, avail the services and let me assure you that you won't regret because this is going to be the best decision of your life. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was valuable. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. But at any point in time, if you want to reach out to me personally, my email ID is shaker at biotechnica.org. Keep shining and all the best.